I got me a new Pro Line Dodge Ram 1500 clear body that I painted myself. Had to do some trimming adjustments that way when we get high up on her, she just clears. But I was not going to hack off that really nice wheel arch. As you can see, I did a nice high gloss. It looks good. But that paint's underneath, guys. Not on top. But yeah, it comes with some pretty nice logos and stuff. Like, I figured that a pro line right down the right side of it. Big old Dodge up, up on the front here. I cut and trimmed the bumper off. Uh, this is for a couple of different body styles. So, of course, they always provide the bumper already on it. But seeing that my chassis has a bumper, no need. So, cut that off, threw the decals on her. And yes, we do got clear windows. We do got a 2S in here. Uh, it's actually the Traxxas ID battery, and it's a 25C two cell. Last, honestly, I've gotten two hours out of that battery, and that's bold facts. Two hours out of that battery, depending how you're driving. But I've gotten an hour and 45 minutes, and I'm still able to get it back home off the trail, which took about 15 minutes, give or take, because we were still playing around. I had juice. And these are the ready-to-run tires from Traxxas, and these tires do amazing. I love them. I bought brand new tires for this, and I even put these back on. I'm running the Duratrax Showdown 1.9 glued beadlock showdowns on my Suburban, my uh, Viterra Ascender that you guys have already seen. You've seen that thing really flexes out on the trail. Great rig, but I snapped a CV axle on the front end, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do some repairs, but right now this is my main focus, so I'll fix it whenever I get around to it. But we've got the Dodge Ram symbol there. This was actually crooked. It took me a little bit, but I peeled it nice and gently back off there, got it on there, and now it's straight. So that looks really good. And I know you can't see it, but if I get a nice close shot, it's, I got a nice blacked out faded pro line. Yes. I can't handle both sides not matching besides like the gas cap thing. So I put up all black, like hidden one. When you're in person and you can look at this, you know, it's really cool. It's really hard to see on camera though. Let's see it. Pro line. Nice. <clears throat> and the struggle I was having with this was not the front mounts. Front mounts were easy. Two holes, done. And then the back here, you see how it droops down, like almost like pre-runner style or a trophy truck for a spare tire. <clears throat> so I had to like drill them out, but almost had to like wallow them a little bit because like it was really, it was really hard to do. Just take my word on it, guys. But I got it tapped and the way I'm running my clips is they just go straight up. And that holds it pretty dang good. I mean, look at that. Holds it down good. <clears throat> Still got the uh, factory bumper on here, but this is a shorter body. I mean, yes, it's 313 millimeters, but the way the body's designed from the TRX4 Sport uh, out the box, it comes back to here. <clears throat> Actually, I have to have this about one or two spaces out to make it like ride nice, and then the front, same with that. But the front, I got it tucked in pretty nice. It's like right, right on there. I don't mind if it's gonna rub, that's fine. It's painted on the inside. Uh, and then it's got like nice little uh, decals that come with, with the body for the door handles and they're like blacked out and they got a silver line with a keyhole. I mean, it's pretty good detail on there. And then the clear windows was the best decision. Obviously I've been dying to have a body that's just clear and I could just paint it up and I haven't got around to it but finally I did oh and then the canyon trails I painted these up last night and they look they look pretty dang good I mean let me know what you guys think but it looks pretty good I've had a couple I had a couple of marks where my pen kind of goes ran over and then I trimmed it up and that's see how these look a little sharper than these ones the pen actually after you're dabbing for a little bit or using it down in here uh, it frays out a little bit, so it can make it a little difficult, but overall nice. <clears throat> and they, they all match, single one of them. I know what you guys think about that. 
would you maybe would you consider doing this that way you know you just i i hate black tires just all black you know i like my white letters i like people to know what kind of tires i'm running my duratrack showdowns they came like that but they're like a silver lettering they're pretty cool and underneath it's basically just completely stock and i have a lot of crap coming forward i do have wheel spacers on there so the wheels sit out pretty far now those are eight millimeter wheel spacers and uh those help a lot when you know when you're going down the trail and you get in some funky stuff or you know it's a wider uh little trench you're getting in you know that'll help you help we power through some of that stuff and i've completely submerged this truck of course they are waterproof uh my last uh mud bog i did with it i completely submerged it and i lost receiver so i wasn't even able to drive it back out i didn't have enough holes punched in my other body to like actually vent the air and it created a pocket and flipped it over so underneath got your receiver box and everything uh your esc's over there tracks is tight in 21 turn 550 can reverse rotation I do have another motor I might put in there. The 20 turn axial motor that's the 20 turn axial motor that is uh, in the Suburban. I'm probably going to put in here just to test it out. Just reverse the polarity to what I understand because this is reversed. So to make the other one like this one, uh, it'd be like uh, black to red, red to black. Mm, that solves your problem. And then, like I said, I got the Traxxas uh, LiPo 2 cell in there. And that runs for a long time. It's a 5,800 milliamp. And I've got a few, I've got a few batteries for this. So over here. Let's see. And there's my, my 55 turn, which that should have a lot of torque. And here is the 35 turn, the dynamite that I took out of the Suburban. That's the factory motor. And this is actually a really good motor. It's a lot of torque. Uh, it never really binds up on the hills. I mean, it's really good. So the other battery that I ordered was this. An ADC, I don't know if it'll clear up. ADC, 7.4 volt, two cell, 5200. This runs for a while. And then my other one, I think, here it is. It's another ZE. 5200 100c now this packs more punch than both the other batteries uh that truck is about twice as fast with this on a full charge i just took the inner fenders back off i actually i actually had to cut these inner fenders guys try to make it fit but in the long run it was just better off without them uh i'll probably end up throwing them back on i don't mind that they're trimmed because they rubbed the other body so i didn't really know uh, that they make a skinny kit of this. And I also took off the running boards. Because they actually sit... <clears throat> see how low they sit? Well, they sit underneath the chassis. I, that's just another hang-up point in my eyes. I don't really need them. Maybe I'll get uh, the smaller metal ones like uh, the Axial has. Uh, it runs right up the body. You know, it's real nice and tucked in. Those are, those are more my style. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> And yeah, yeah. So this might end up getting a different motor, but overall, I mean, it's it's awesome. Let me see if I can show you the spacers. Kind of hard to see in there. Yep, there they are. A little gold spacer in there. Those are really nice. I forget what brand they are. I'm sorry there's a snake on the front of them if that helps but i forget what brand they are i'll have to look it up later on and if you mention it in the comments or something you know then uh i'll let you know what it is so but yeah that is my Traxxas trx4 sport with the dodge ram 1500 on it and it's pretty much stock i mean other than that there's not much on it but i have a lot of parts coming for it like i do have a roof rack and everything else it was really customized but i don't want to run that body anymore uh maybe one day i'll switch it back over but for the time being it's going to be the dodge ram 1500 
So I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you like this. I just wanted to chit chat about the new body. Just show it off to you, you know, so you can see how nice these things really do turn out if you do them yourself and don't order them painted and you order them cleared and actually do them yourself. You know, it's just much more fulfilling that way. Well, take care. Hit us with a like if you do or a thumbs down. Hey, that always helps too. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All Action RC is always trying to support everybody who watches us. You know, we try to talk to you as much as I can. So let me know if you like this guy. Subscribe. It's totally free. Thanks.